Stem Splitter is a new feature in Logic Pro for iPad 2. It allows you to take a stereo WAV file and turn it into separate individual WAV files for vocals, drums, bass, and other instruments. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it. Let's go. Yes, if like me, you've thought to yourself, I wish I could remix that old song of mine, but I don't have the stems and I don't have the project file. Well, now Logic Pro for iPad can help you split out those stems and remix your projects. It's pretty cool. Let's dive in and show you how it's done. Now, before we get started, you will need an M1, M2 or M4 iPad Air or iPad Pro to use Stem Splitter. If you're using an older iPad, unfortunately, this option won't be available here in Logic Pro for iPad 2. And if if you would like to learn more about the other cool new features like Session Player, Chroma Glow, and the Chords Track, check out the other videos in the description. Step one to split some stems. We need to create a new project and just create a new audio track. We can close the browser here because we won't actually need this. What we need to do is access the Files app to find a WAV file to bring across into Logic Pro. To do that, we're going to tap on the three dots at the top here and tap on Split View. We can now select this the files app and there you go here's a folder i prepared earlier with some wave files that we can bring across let's start with this one it's a song of mine called no apologies i'm going to tap and hold drag across and drop this on a fresh new track you may get some things like this about the sample rate. I'm just going to convert the file to match the project. And I'm also going to bring in any tempo information and marker information that's in that. There you go. That audio file is now over in Logic Pro for iPad. I can now go back to the top, tap on these three dots and tap on full screen and Logic Pro will return to full screen. And there it is. If we zoom out, there's the entire WAV file of this song. Now, believe it or not, that was actually the hardest part because all we need to do now is tap on this WAV file, tap again, and then tap on Stem Splitter, and that's going to kick in the Stem Splitter process. We can split out vocals, drums, bass, and other instruments, and you can use these tick boxes to decide which of these you would like to split. Let's say you don't want the vocals and you just want the instrumental tracks. You can unselect the vocals and just split out the drums, bass, and other. Or you just want to pull the vocals out. You can select the vocals and unselect the other three. My recommendation, just split them all out because you can always mute and solo them afterwards. So we're going to select all four of these and tap on split. And just like that, Logic Pro for iPad has taken that WAV file and split it into the vocals, drums, bass, and other instruments. If we play all four of them, it's going to sound exactly like our original file. Maybe I spread things in but the cool thing is that we can now separate out each of these. So if we want to hear just the vocals, let's solo the vocal track and see how it goes. Maybe I'm trying too hard just to win, but my intentions are always the best. That's pretty cool. Even there where there's no vocals, you're not hearing any sort of instrumental bleed. That's a pretty good job. Let's now unsolo that one and take a listen to just the drums. How's it done with these? Not bad at all. A little bit of artifacting in there, but you're always going to get some of that when you're splitting out stems like this. Let's check out the bass. Again, pretty good. It's actually separated out those bass frequencies and brought the bass guitar out. Let's finish off with these other instruments. Sounds pretty good. I happen to know that there's some backing vocals further on in this track. So let's come back here to the end and see if we can hear those in this other instruments track. Again, a pretty good job. And obviously we can mix and match these by soloing and muting out different tracks to use any of these tracks in any way we like. The other cool thing is, of course, let's say we mix the vocals too loud in the original, we can drop those down. Let's play everything and play with the volume here of our vocals. Maybe 
Really cool if you just need to make a little tweak to a mix, but you don't have the stems. And of course you can add plugins, EQ, and everything else to these tracks using all of the standard features here in Logic Pro for iPad. So if you're not happy with the vocal processing, why not add an audio effect? In fact, why not check out Chroma Glow? It's the brand new plugin here in Logic Pro for iPad 2, and I cover it in another video you can check out in the description. You may also have noticed that these four stems are put in their own track stack here. So you can minimize and maximize that as well if you want to put it out of the way when you're processing and mixing. Should we try another song? You look like you want to see another song. So let's tap on the three dots at the top here. We're going to go to Split View. We're going to select the Files app. And this time, let's bring this one across. This is more of a drum and bass electronic kind of track, which I know many folks out there produce using Logic Pro. So let's see how it goes with this one. Tap and hold, drag over, drop at the very start here of a fresh track and we'll do these again. We'll convert the file to our project. Does it have any markers? No, nope, we're all good to go here. So now all we need to do is tap the three dots, go back to full screen, and let's put Stem Splitter to the test again. We know the drill by now. We want to tap, we want to tap again. We want to tap on Stem Splitter and we'll select all four of these again and tap on Split. There it goes. It goes and does its splitting. It's pretty quick. I'm running the M2 iPad Pro here. If you're running the M4, it's probably going to fly. And even on an M1, this will work. Reminder, you do need one of the Apple Silicon iPads to run this. And there we go again. Let's zoom out. There is our entire track once again in its own little stack. And we can play this. Here's what the entire track sounds like. 4 a.m. alarm, turn off quickly. Taxi arrives, do not toot. And now this time, let's play it again. And I'm going to solo each individual track so we can hear how it's done. The kids are still asleep. Well, maybe I am too. Skip the coffee. Try to sleep on the plane today. Check my bag. Ha I'll see, cause that's my prep. In the overheads, safety demonstrate. A structure on a tiny scale. So again, it's done pretty well. A few little artifacts in there, hasn't separated things out perfectly, but for a remix, it's going to do a really good job once we mix these tracks back in. You can then add to this as well. Don't forget, you can record over the top of this if you want to record new vocals or you want to add additional instrumentation to an existing song. There you have it, the new stem splitter here in Logic Pro for iPad 2. What do you think of this? Is this something that you'll use? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget I've got a heap of other videos about all the brand new features in Logic Pro for iPad 2. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.